packed for your flight tomorrow, Spinny? College awaits. How are you? Still infectious, apparently. Uh, uh, I just sent you the link to Ride the Sky. Edited all the sessions. No way, with like your maps and stop blocks and everything? Visual Arts Club helped. Oh, and music? Triumph. Radical. Oh, I'm going to click on that link. Oh, and AJ. Yeah? Get well soon. Oh, how were the protests over there in Toronto, Charlie? Crazy. I miss Manila. But I can't wait to get the game started. Epic news. I did the impossible and got our party assembled. Oh, there's a few happy regulars like Dirk. It's so annoying. My dad and my lady in the States, but she won't leave me alone. I have to answer all her calls and be a good brother. Even though mom says that we're officially a broken family. So sad. Literally the entire world is going down in flames and they both won't stop bothering me. I just want to stay in my room alone. It's not that hard. Uh, Dirk, <laughs> I was going to ask if you wanted to join our new uh, D&D campaign. Oh, um, okay. Uh... Can I be a paladin? Oh, did you ask Penelope? Of course I asked that dudette. So glad you're joining Penelope. And you've been okay lately? Oh, yeah. I am done with romance. Like, he was so toxic. But I'm glad I'm over it. And actually, we can maybe put it in the game backstory if you want. But um, actually, I was going to ask you. There's this new girl from Macedonia. And my parents are making me connect with her. Uh, she's still in quarantine, but she's very nice maybe a little too nice. And I was gonna ask you if she can join us. Well, sure, what's her name? Hi, my name's Cecilia. Yeah, bro, it's so gnarly. You had to come to Manila when there's no social life. It is unfortunate, but others are going through so much worse. I don't wanna sound ungrateful, right? Right, yeah, yeah. But it would be so amazing to do Dungeons and Dragons. I am so grateful to you and Penelope. Thank you so, 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 so much. Guess who else said yes? Brad? <laughs> Big Dog hasn't played since middle school. So I haven't been able to go to the gym and wearing masks when I run outside makes it really hard to get a real conditioning workout in. So yeah, I might have some more time right now, but uh, who's gonna play? like? What's the guy-girl ratio? And cause he's in, Roxy called me. Roxy's into Brad now. Yeah, bro, and she was a bit of a real hoedad about it. Oh my god, hi JR. It's AJ. Oh my god, I'm so sorry, AJ, right? Okay, Um, I saw actually Brad's post on Instagram a couple of days ago, something about Dungeons and Dragons. Can I join? Have you played before? Yeah, isn't it like Super Mario or something? You're gonna like the last recruit, Lewis. No way! Way, we made a compromise? Let's see, I reread Lord of the Rings again. That was, that was nice. I read the whole thing again over quarantine. Oh my gosh. Um, I went on Amazon again and I got some merchandise. I got Gandalf's hat, it was awesome. But I don't know, I read this stuff and I watch the movies and I used to get a huge rush, but I'm not really feeling it anymore. Well, maybe you need new nerd medicine. Like what? Dungeons and Dragons. Oh, I walked into your mess again. I'm oh, oh come is... on. I don't make fun of you for your hobbit hoarding buggery. Huh. Well, I guess if you read the trilogy with that little fun time, maybe I'll take a bullet and I'll play some D&D. Deal. And I get to name my character Frandolph. Okay, I'm meeting with each of them to discuss character sheets and everything. Oh, and speaking of deals, did you arrange like a thing for NPCs with your new dudes? Yeah, I was going to say, the theater peeps over here are totally in. They miss acting. Bodacious. I'm just a little nervous. I, I know you like to play your own NPCs, AJ, but it'll be tight, I promise you. They'll do whatever you want and they're really excited. NPCs? You mean like supporting characters? None of us are leads. Not even me? These sad not, not even me? I almost got a role on Broadway when I was eight. We all know that, right? You're still really important to the story. Wait, isn't the dungeon master supposed to play the NPCs? Normally, but we've wanted like real actors to do it. 
What? Real actors just to play monsters? Monsters aren't just gorgons and lizards. They're also barmaids, guards, and prisoners. And I won't be typecast again. You know, I just love playing the old lady. I swear if I have to play the little kid again. You, you think you have a problem? Any, anyway, so can we at least have monster makeup? Will there be any swords? What about costumes? No, no, it's all on Zoom. It's theater of the mind. It's all imagined. Let, let me just get this straight. You mean we only use voice acting? Oh, can I at least use the prom dress I never got to use because prom was canceled? You know what, this is lame. I'm not doing this unless there's stage combat. Seriously, can I at least have a tragic backstory? Tragic backstory? How about Cast Hours? Can we at least oh, get Cast Hours with this? Oh, Cast Hours, I swear, what are you killing me. Hours? I can't. During lockdown. Besides, you'll be amazing. The Zoom call is on Thursday at 8 p.m. Manila time. Eight in the morning, our time. In the morning. Great. <laughs> What's up, everyone? Welcome to our first session of this adventure. I'm AJ, your Dungeon Dictator, or Dungeon Master DM for short, from Manila International School, and our players are also from MIS. Uh, I'm Charlie, second DM, once upon a time from MIS, but now at Toronto Academy, where our wonderful NPCs are also from. And together, Charlie and I are... The Gemini. We hope you enjoy all that we planned. Oh, and just a little reminder, when we ask to spotlight certain characters, can all the rest please turn off their videos? Is that okay with everyone? Cool, great, here we go. Millennia ago, demons ruled. A dark fog hung heavily over the entire realm. However, in the seventh century of the fog, a battalion of angels descended from the heavens, converged over a giant lake, and vanquished the demons in an epic battle. Thus, the angels liberated the land, ushered in light, and lifted the fog. The people established the city of Emberwood, named after its magnificent autumn forests, and every year, the citizens celebrate their liberation with a festival around the giant lake, now named Lake Angeles. And it is on a windy autumn day when all of you converge at the Emberwood Marketplace. Lots of stalls, hustle and bustle, vendors pulling out. Uh, spotlight vendors, please. Greetings, tourists. Spend your offers, humans, Auntie, and win free breakfast. Exact yeah, tattoos on uh, you. Baby wipes. Uh, I wouldn't take one. Now, none of you are really in Emberwood for the festival. In fact, you're all here for an entirely different reason. Five of you have had a recurring dream. A weeping woman whispering, Emberwood, we need you in Amberwood. It's disturbed you enough to make the trip here. May we spotlight a dragonborn paladin named Tarmax and his companion, a halfling thief named Frandolf. <laughs> Goody. Frandolf asks Tarmax. Uh, Tarmax, can I just mosey onto those stalls over there and take a look at those precious little nice trinkets? Tarmax says, Frandolf, I prefer that you stick with me. Oh, come on, can't we just loosen up the rules a little bit? Sticking with me is already loosening the rules. It's better than being jailed for stealing. <sighs> okay. Can we discuss the word stealing? Because when I, when I think of stealing, I think of a hero. I think of people like Robin Hood. Didn't you not just steal from me, but also from poor merchants who have to feed oh, their families? We're complicated. Can we discuss the word poor? I could also call you poor. Poor Tarmax, with your poor little dragon feet, and your poor little clumsy dragon puzzle, I think. And my poor 1,000 degree dragon breath that can fry a thief to the bone. Yeah, I'm going to stick right next to you, no problem. I'm not going to bother you at all. Thank you very much. Thank you guys for that. And nearby, a dwarf berates a half-elf. Ow! Caberna says. You crushed my toe. Well, Fira bends down to address her. Oh, I'm so, so sorry. So terribly sorry. Are you all right? Did you ram into me because I'm short? No, no, no. It was completely an accident. You can't ruin these legs, you dimwit. 
I sing and dance for a living. You know, I can sue you. Um, well, if I may, my name is Wolfira, and as I'm just a wandering cleric, I have very little to offer financially, but maybe I can offer you an apple from my bag instead. An apple? An ap Do I look like a woman that can be bought with an apple? Uh, yeah, two stalls down, you see a human man in elegant clothes. Uh, can I comment on him? Go ahead. Now there, Wolfira, that's a yummy apple. Who's he? Yeah, that yummy apple is a nobleman named Korf Waldorf, and he's approaching a very female high elf. Amorous, babe. Funny bumping into you here in Emberwood. Wondering the same thing, Korf. Is this your new hunting ground? Prowling for Emberwood floozies to fool around with? You know me, but... Why are you here? I never knew you as the marketplace type. Oh, for someone who was once engaged to me, you hardly knew me, period. Emmerish, babe. You know, I can't just be tied down. It was fun while it lasted, but if you're asking for an apology, honey, you're not going to get one. I'm not your babe or your honey, Waldorf. All the rest of the players can turn on their cameras. Oh, thank goodness. Because with the spat going on, I think I'm a little bit interested in looking in Korf Waldorf, that's his name, his bag. Dude, that's not super clutch. But I mean, roll sleight of hand if you want. I got an eight. Eight, okay. Uh, Korf, what's your passive perception? Hey, Brad. Oh, Dude. oh sorry. Um, Korf's passive perception is a nine. Okay, Frandolf rummages through your bags and takes out a bejeweled comb. However, Korf does notice his bag being touched by this little halfling. Uh, I slap him on the back of the neck. Ow! Tarmax, feeling responsible for Frandolf, yells, Hey, you over there! There are better ways to compliment someone's cut! Okay, buddy, why don't you just mind your own business? That rogue over there is my comrade. And my business. I'm just regaining some stolen property. Stolen property? Fend off! Gentlemen, can we, can we discuss the word stolen property? Is it something taken from your bag? Or is it something that's justly transferred to someone who has not had the same opportunities in life? Okay, punk. I'm going to give you to the count of three to hand over my comb. Well, that's not the only thing you're going to be getting today. Uh, hey, does anyone want to intercede before this gets totally bogus? Uh, yes. Wolfira says, guys, surely there must be some way to avoid combat? No, 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 no. I think this is the interesting part. Let's see if he can count to three. Okay, one. Stop it, Korf. Two. Sir, stand down. Three. I grab Frand off by the collar and raise And him. as if on cue, a human woman appears right outside your little circle. She is small, but has a calming presence, a tattoo on her left cheekbone, and she looks at you with knowing eyes. Dear friends, I hope that comb does not cause further strife. Welcome to Emberwood. I've seen that woman in my dreams. And I've, mine. Yeah, I've seen her too. Definitely. When I see the woman, I snatch my comb from friend off and put him down. I smile and say, it is nice to know that you all have met and are getting along relatively. <clears throat> yeah, relatively. Well, thank you for answering my call. My apologies for intruding in your dreams, but our need is urgent. My name is Arihi and Emberwood is my home. Wolfira answers, lovely to meet you in person. I sense that you are good. What is your urgent need? Friends. There is trouble brewing here in Emberwood. Trouble that will easily spread like a virus to the entire realm. Centuries ago, an evil fog was lifted from these parts, but there are signs the fog has returned. But hello, the sky is pretty clear and the sun's out. I mean, it's a fog of a different nature, Caverna. It is no longer in the air, but in the eyes. Look into the eyes of a friend taken by the fog and you will see a malevolent stranger one who suddenly and viciously turns on their friends, their family, and even themselves. 
It is a fog that attacks, destroys the mind and spirit. A war attacks on the mind and spirit can be more dangerous than an entire army. Rihi, how can we defeat this fog? The Lady of the Lake knows the answer, but one cannot approach her as an individual. This is why I need you all. Tarmax, for your strength and military prowess. Amris, for your intelligence. Korf, for your bravery. Caberna, for your charisma. And Volfira, for your healing capabilities. And... And, uh, forgive me. Who are you? Well, apparently no one, so if you just excuse me, I'll be on my day and I'm going to do something where I am wanted, thank Tom you. Tomex grips Frandolf firmly and says, Frandolf has the power of stealth and sleight of hand. He is oh. with me, and we offer our service to save our realm. Oh, thank you, Tomex. And likewise to you, Frandolf. You're, you're welcome. Well, I guess... <sighs> If this is going to be the case, how about we discuss this foggy issue, pun intended, foggy issue. Let's talk about material rewards. Treasure. Nothing is guaranteed. Um, how dangerous would you say this journey is? I will tell you this. You may lose your life. Well, I know I'm willing to lay down my life for this cause. As am I. I'm in. Oh, okay, then I'm in as well, I guess. Well, ma'am, I believe that you now have your party. The wind blows cold. The skies above remain clear, but there is a curious thunder. Thank you all. Let us begin our journey. As the party heads for the western gate towards Lake Angeles, some of the market sellers follow them intently with their eyes. End of the session. Videos on, everyone. So uh, I was wondering, do you guys want to hang out in breakout rooms or something? Chat for a while here. Uh, I my laptop is like on one percent battery, so like it might. <laughs> uh, I have to get going too. I have a late dinner tonight. Yeah, some of us have to have breakfast. Um, I'm sorry, but before we leave, um, Santi, do you think you can send me your snap? Uh, okay, so is next Thursday okay? Same time, same place? Yep. Yep. Cool. Thanks for coming, everyone. Bye. Bye. Have you. a nice weekend. Hi, Brad. Oh. Sorry. Did, you, did you have to invite Roxy? Charlie, chill axe. Don't let the fog get you. 